He keeps a tighter defense and a nice counter like that. See, so he's smart first round. And to see what's happening right now, he's backing up a poachy, which is usually not the case. Uh, wisely, he's doing the right oh. things. Oh. And that can still happen. But right now, the slickster in here. I'll tell you this. I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in the next few rounds. Well, and that's the thing because Ronnie Good Shields. body shots there by Apochi, and he's able to follow up as well with an uppercut. Another uppercut and a right hand from Apochi as he starts to let his hands go. Now he's asserting himself in this third round. Apochi keeps landing that. He might break down Glenn a little bit. The ground back that he lost. Earlier, uh, Glanton, though, we would see if he can keep that energy rising. Lennox, how do you see it so far? What are you reading from there at ringside? Yeah, I'm saying that uh, Glanton is keeping his hands up nice and is moving forward. He's not really getting hit no solid shots right now. And I like the w I like the way uh, Apoche is throwing a lot of punches. You know, this is, you know, sometimes he, he relaxes too much and leaves his head a little bit high. What he needs to be doing is just bending down a little bit and keeping his hands up just like uh, Glanton. A leaping left hook. Right. For a big thick guy. Oh. But he's able to land, but Apochi is able to land boots. It's a small thing, but it makes a big difference. Oh. Oh. Great action in this fight. He's out. Big hook. Apochi's out. Great hand. He's going to get him a count. He's going to get him a count. He is on the ropes. Oh. He's got a count. That's a knockdown. A small thing, but it makes a big difference. It's oh, great action in this fight. He's out. Big hook. The punch is here. Great hand. He's going to get him a count. He's going to get him a count. on the ropes. He's got a count. That's a knockdown. And Glenn's coming on hard. Down with the right hand. Drills it. Now he's got him on the ropes. A punch is stopped moving now. He shakes his. Oh. Oh. Apochi looks Glenn a little bit hurt. Yeah. Apochi's playing puzzle. Moving in with the uppercut. Still able to move his head. Glant moves in, throwing to the body. Hard to the ropes so he can move to the rest of the rim. Oh, my God. Glant in, in the deepest of Trading right hands at the moment. You're going to be a hard press Glant to see. Glant moves his head a bit, but he's able to land with a thudding right hand. Now Apochi oh, is the busier great. man. She pinned on the ropes. One minute left in this round. Oh, great left hook by Glanton. Funny Glanton and fires back. Not only survival skills, he's throwing presence of mind to be able to move his hand and to, to push him away to the right spot. Wow. You can hear his corner, Poach's corner, telling him to keep his hands up because he, after throwing his punches, you know, you want to put your hands up because you're tired, but you got to force oh. yourself to keep your hands up. Look at that. I mean, this is, this is a uppercut from Apochi. Beyond the fight of the year right now. I don't know how you're ever going to top this this year. This is a great fight. Great. And I got to tell you, oh, they're, and they're Brian Lassen, they may be cruiserweights, but they're really hitting like heavyweights tonight. Yeah. No, again, if you just give uh, benefit oh. of the doubt, and the two or three extra rounds, you're going to have it wide. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Lassen lands a hook. Gets a poach in the corner. Three punch combination from Brandon Glenn. Another combination. Look at a poach. He just brushes him moving up. back, but he's firing. Digs into the body oh! on his way back. Uppercut lands from a poach. And they fight to the bell. I hate it. I hate it. Let me tell you, there's so much sweat in this, in this fight. Nothing can keep uh, sticky. That jab is landing. The hook landed from Apochi. He's able to touch up Glanton. Glanton's putting on the pressure. Landed a good right hand right there, Brian. Wow. Now, this is it right here. Let me tell you. 15 seconds. Let me tell you, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh! 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 Glanton's wobbled. Can he stay on his feet? That could mean a lot. Maybe he can't afford a 10 8 round. Oh! Apochi wobbles Glanton. Split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside Nelson Vasquez scores about 96 to 93 in favor of Efetobor Apochi. Yes, yes. Judge of ringside John Mariano scores about 95 94 in favor of Brandon Glanton.
And judge of ringside, Mike Fitzgerald sees the action 95 to 94. In favor of the winner, he is still undefeated. Bulletproof, Brandon Glinton.